all right welcome to this video in this video i'm going to show you how to create your jumia store in 2024 a lot has changed from the previous video that i did showing you how to create your jumia store like you can see in your screen it's usually going to the seller center and creating your store and having your store where you can see your where you can add product from this section right here see your orders here they see your income and your account statement over here but right now everything has changed so if you go to jumia.com.ng and you click on the top left hand corner and say okay sell on jumia you realize that it's not going to take you down to the seller center and it brings you to this page for example now you click on start selling usually or before now it will take you to the seller center but now it will take you to the vendor center okay so vendorcenter.jumia.com forward slash sign up is a new way you can use to create your store on jumia so once you land here let me close this one once you land here the first thing to do is to choose your country now you can choose any country that you are in my case we are in nigeria so we choose nigeria and we click next now we're going to put in our email address here so that's our email address okay i'm going to click on verify now jumia is going to send a verification code to your email address as you can see the email address has just arrived this is the code that jimmy has sent so you copy it and you go back to the vendor center you paste in the code and you click verify now i'm going to ask you to put in a phone number and a password make sure the phone number you're using to create a new store on jimmy is a phone number that you've not used on jimmy in the past so i'll paste in my phone number here and password and i'll confirm the password right here all right so now i have my phone number and my password i'll just click on next now how do you want to create your store do you want to have your store as a business or as an individual now this is very very important because if you're creating your store as a business you must make sure you put in your business information but if you don't have a business name or a company registered with the csc just go ahead and choose a store as individual this is very very important now for the shop name i'm just going to put in my shop name right here so once you're done with that put in your shop name then you choose your shipping zip code mind you you cannot sell on jumia from outside lagos you have to be in lagos to sell on jumia but stay with me before the end of the video i will show you how you can sell on jumia from anywhere you are in the country even if you are outside outside nigeria so in this case, I'm just going to choose Lagos. So how do you hear about us? I'm just going to say Google and leave that there. I hereby confirm that I agree to Jumia seller contract and blah, blah, blah. Of course, if you are brand new to Jumia, you can read this Jumia contract and Jumia code, the policy, the guidelines. These are very important to read as a Jumia, as a brand new Jumia vendor so that you understand what you're signing up to. Okay. So let's say you're done with that. Then we'll click submit are you sure you want to submit or you want to make a change i am sure i want to submit hold on while we create your store now you can see that your store have been successfully created what you need to do is to log in to your store to fill in other details right there let me show you how that looks so i'm just going to log in here with the email and password and i'll click on log in so once you log in you will now see the new jumia interface this is how your store is going to look now, whenever you want to log into your store, you have to go to vendorcenter.jumia.com. Then you click on sign in with email. Then it's going to bring you to this to the vendor center dashboard where you add your email address and password. Then you click login. Again, it will take you to your dashboard. Now, right here, you can see the shop information has been completed. We have to go through this step, the business information, the shipping information, the payment information, and additional information. So without wasting time, well, first of all let's click on let's click on the shop information you scroll down you're going to see the information that you've already added when you are creating the store okay so you can scroll down and see other details which is your shop name your contact phone number and the customer care details you don't have to add anything but you can if you want just adding your name and your phone number your, your address in lagos okay but if you don't have that you can leave that for now let's go to the business information now you have to make sure you fill in all these things and in a few days time i think it's one to three business days your store is going to be verified and you're going to see the green check man that says completed so now let's click on business information you come down here you put in your full name you put in an id all right a passport photo a passport id card voters card national id or driver's license that is what is required now people who ask me can they use their nin yes if you can take a picture of your nin that is very clean 
we're going to add it under, under the national id and it should be verified i think we've tried it before and it got verified okay so the thing is not accessory but if you're a business you have to put in your your tax identification number so now let's just i'll just fill this up right since it's a bit private i'll fill this up and i'll come back to this video but first let me show you something whichever id card that you choose is going to show you additional details that you should add in this case let's say you choose the passport you have to upload the front and the back side of the passport so let's say we say we'll choose a voter's card same thing front and the back side but you have to add your voter's card number right here now if you go to the national id card you have to add your ID, your name here, your national identification number right here. And you have to upload the front and the back side. Now, if you are having the paper slip name, you can just upload it twice or you just upload the front side and you leave it there. In my case, I have the driver's license, which I just take the driver's license. I'm gonna upload the front and the back side and the driver's license number right here. So let me fill this up and come back again. All right, so you would have blown the details right here. So you can see, I've added the driver's license number here. I've uploaded the ID card. I don't have the back side right now, so I'm just gonna leave this blank. So the next thing we're gonna do, we're going to move down here where they said legal representatives address. So we're gonna put in an address here. The address have to be a Lagos address for your store to be approved. If it's not a Lagos address, your store will not be approved. Now, if you want to create a store on Jumia by yourself and you want to send on Jumia and you are not in Lagos, you can simply come to connects.co forward slash jumia and you sign up to connects or you contact connects and you explain to connects that you want to sell on jumia connects will give you an address that you can use in to create your store so that your store will be approved and you can start selling and if you want to sell you can use connects to fulfill your orders on jumia and conga from wherever you are in the world all right so let's say you've contacted Connex and you're not in Lagos and you want to use the Connex services to send on Jumia and you get an address, you come here and fill in the address. So let me just fill in the address quickly. So after we're done with our address, we're just going to click on submit. So it's, pr it's pretty straightforward. When you go through the dashboard, you're going to see everything is self-explanatory. All right. So we click on submit. Sometimes no work because some details are not fully uploaded yet. Said. So what we need to do, if you scroll back up, it's telling us that the backside is not been, has not been uploaded. So what I will do right now, since I don't have the backside yet, I'm just going to upload the front side again. I'm still going to come back to upload the backside just for tutorial purpose. I, want, I just want to go to the next page. So we'll click on submit. Please preview your document before submission. So just click continue. So next, it's going to be on review. Uh, we're going to go on to shipping information so we want to make the shipping address the same so that we don't have to fill that again return address make it the same so that we don't have to fill that again because like i said if you get an address from the, from connex and you want to sell uh through the connect services of course the shipping and the, the shipping and the return address is the same so we we'll scroll down i will click save now we move into the payment information and this is where you're going to add your bank information that you're going to get paid with all right so i'll fill this up and come back to this video all right so i want to point out something very 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 important all right you can see the bank information document right here it is highly required by jumia right now if you don't have it and you're selling on jumia your payments will not be made all right so what you need to do if you want to send on jumia you go to your bank you have to go to the banking hall meet the customer service and tell them you want to request for a reference letter all right so when they give you a reference letter most bank charges 599 in nigeria most commercial banks so when they give you a reference letter this is where you're going to upload that refer reference letter so i'm just going to do that here so without this your application might not be approved and even if it's approved jimia will not disburse your payment so once you're done adding your bank name your bank uh, your bank number your account number and your and the bank name just click on save help us confirm you are a rightful owner of the shop so enter an otp that will be sent to this email address so let's go back to our email address and check that so jimia said they sent an otp so let's just click on this i think this is the this is the latest email from jimia so we'll copy this code go back to vendor center so we'll scroll down here 
paste the OTP right there, then we'll click verify. So you can see right now, this is completed. This is still in review because this is where we added some of our personal information, right? So this is completed. This is completed. Now we have the additional information. So Jimmy has asked you, do you have an, an existing shop on Jimia? So if this is your first time. You said no. If you have an existing stop, existing shop, you say, yes, I have one. So what kind of products do you sell or what type of seller are you? Now you go through, are you filling the details? In this case, with this particular store, is just a trader. So please upload a document, upload a shop document. Now, if you don't have a document, just click on save and move to the next. But you can see it said it's filled incorrectly, meaning you have to upload the document. So you choose what suits you best so that you don't have to upload the document. But I think everything you have to upload a document. What I would do, I'll just click next, move to the next. Most times, in most stores that we've created recently, we don't add anything in that, in that space. In most stores that we've created, we just click on next and move to the next. Select product category. So what kind of product do you want to sell? You select the category right here. In this case, I'm just going to say on. How do you source for products? I'm just going to say importation or imports. Do you also sell offline? Yes, we sell offline. Do you use other online channels? Yes, I use on other online channels. Okay, no, I don't want to fill anything. Then I will click on save. So you can see right here, he's saying the input is not correct. I'm thinking it's because of this particular section right here. But if all these things are in place, if your business information is completed or is approved, you can start selling. So in the next video that I'm going to do, once the store is approved, I'm going to show you how to add product to your store. Okay. Right. You know, before now, you can add product to your store on seller center by going to products, manage product or create a new product or import a product. Right now it's different. Here you go to products, so we'll click on add products in the next video. Then everything is basically self exploration. I'm going to show you how to do that in the next video. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're confused or you're not too sure, please just go back and watch this video again.